Hey, hey, everybody, it's Monkey Puzzle, and I'm here in the village getting ready for an episode. Uh, I got this uh, Miscraft guy over here. I want to trade for a rainbow, because that's one symbol I know I don't have. And uh, let me see, in my miner's backpack, just hold still, sir. Oops. Uh, I've got plenty of emeralds at this point. Been doing some trading with these guys. Let's get a rainbow page. Um, which is going to come in handy because today we're going to do Miscraft again for the first time in a long time. Uh, I took a break after it updated. Now I'm still in the middle of the updates here. I'm in uh, Dire Wolf 5.3.2, which is Minecraft 1.4.7. I'm surprised I remember all those numbers. Uh, but. Uh, it, it evolves more in the updates and I am going to start a new world once uh, packs for 1.6 stabilize but for now I'm still enjoying this world I loathe to leave it I will never destroy it or of course um, but uh, when we get a new pack uh, it will it will definitely occupy this server space here um, so and I think this world has grown, grown past the capacity of my computer to handle it <laughs> by itself. Anyway, uh, we're over here in the village, not just to grab that rainbow page, but we're going to clear out the Miscraft store, uh, which has become the hub for the villagers. I had to put this crystal portal in it because 10 billion of them would all pack in here, and I had to send them out somewhere else. So I think I'm actually going to move the Miscraft store somewhere else and let just this just be a little nexus, a little hub for the villagers because they like it so much. But we got these guys back here. Uh, we've got these pages, uh, which I may or may not have already. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to organize all our pages to start with, uh, which I'll show you. Um, and uh, let's see what these guys got. Let me grab some more emeralds because I might need them. This guy has pine forest biome, which we may have diamond ore which i don't think i'll ever use uh but i want to have <laughs> it's cheaty and it adds instability to the worlds um i've got that and i don't know if i have that i don't know if i want it um but you got to collect them all why not and then i got some more back here too uh which i may not have room for i'll come back and grab the rest of these in a bit um, oh wait, I can put my emeralds away right now. And uh, do I have room for anything else to put away? I don't think so. So we'll just grab uh, another page. I know I don't have that. Um, and we're going to head on back to the Savannah base. Uh, by the way, if you've been following this, I had to shut off the chickens for a while over there. Oh, thank you. Look at that nice rose up there. That's very cool. Um, by the way, I think I'm going to move this shop up into the sandstone house up there. But I shut down the uh, automatic chicken nugget maker because I forgot about it for a while. And it went out of control. I couldn't figure out why the server was lagging. And I went over there and there was like 2,000 chickens. So <laughs> we got plenty of chicken nuggets for the moment. Clearly some fine tuning to do over there. Um, also, uh, be great uh, if you guys could note that... I've got 200 experience right now, and I just wanted to show you that because I'll probably use it to uh, uncraft more of the stuff that's from the skeleton spawner over here from the, the automatic XP turtle uh, thing you do. Uh, but I've got all this armor that's building up, which there's no way to automate it as far as I can tell. Unless some, there was some way to get a turtle to do it, but it, it requires XP to uncraft. Uh, so I got to do that manually and it's kind of a chore, um, but you do get a lot of gold, leather, and uh, fire <laughs> from it. And this kind of, this kind of fire, which is kind of silly, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, and I also wanted to, before I start, show you guys what I'm going to do here. So yeah, I'm in a mid-grade upgrade for Miscraft, so it's beyond what I did before. Well, you can't just make random ages and get the symbols from those books. You have to actually collect the pages like we're doing here, either from Miscraft villagers or finding libraries in worlds. And I haven't generated a new world with a library yet, so I'm about to. So that's different. The writing desk is different. Uh, it now requires 
all these um, uh, things in it. It's got ink vials and paper. You put your books here. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, let me see. Can I can I drop these all into here? I forget. I think. Oh, you know what? Let me see. Uh, hold on a second. Let me like make a little space in my inventory. I'm going to need here. Let me just drop off this bone meal and this wood and these. I'm going to need these in a second, but that gives me just enough space to uh, grab this descriptive book. What I did at the end of the last era of Miscraft is I wrote all our symbols into a book. Oh, and that's the descriptive book. This is a notebook. I think this has all the symbols of this. I'm not sure, um, but let's go ahead, grab that notebook. And now we should be able to right click it. Yep, and there's all our symbols. So let's add the rest of these into there. Uh, get them out of our inventory. And need to make some more space. Okay. Yeah, so uh, new things. We've got the new writing desk requires paper and ink. And the way you get the ink is uh, you get glass bottles. Let me see. We can make uh, 16 new more ink files. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And the way you make them is you have two ink sacks and you get an ink file. So I'm going to go ahead and turn all this into ink files. And my math there was horribly wrong. For some reason, I divided that by three, but it's by two. So I could make 24 ink vials from 48 uh, squid sacks. So uh, we're going to have plenty of ink now, probably more than I'm going to need. But uh, we're going to do a lot of page making right now. So I wanted to make sure I have enough. So what I need to do first is I need to sort out all these symbols that are in these notebooks. Well, this is a notebook. This is a descriptive book. Um, and I'm still figuring out these new mechanics, obviously. So uh, I just wanted to, I'm going to figure it out mostly on my own for to start with, but I just wanted to show you the very beginning so you guys know where I started from, um, is I got to take all these symbols and I got to make new notebooks, which you do uh, like this. That's why I got this leather. And this is what uh, the number 16 came from, is that I have enough leather to make uh, basically... Uh, 16 notebooks so and you do like that I thought or is it like that there it is so you just uh, place the leather like that got plenty of notebooks <laughs> probably more than I'm gonna need as well too bad they don't stack let me toss a bunch of them in here which I can grab as I need um, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put each one in in here and I think you name them here. So this one, for instance, will be biomes. And then I can go through here and I find all the biomes I want and I right click. And then I get a copy of that page in this notebook. Uh, so it uses up a piece of paper, it used up a little bit of ink. And I'm just going to go through all the biomes and make a copy of each one of them. And I'm going to do that for all the different kinds of symbols in here. It generated us some of the new symbols uh, like sky color and colors and fog color and all that. So I got those kind of for free because it was already in a book and it had to figure out how to put it into the new one. And I'll figure out what I'm missing, but basically I'll divide these into biomes, uh, biome modifiers, uh, colors, uh, so on. You'll see when I'm done. I'll figure out what all the categories are as I go. Um, and then we'll have a notebook that basically uh, groups each one of the different kind of symbols here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you when I'm done. And as I'm doing this, I forgot to mention for folks who haven't uh, watched this before is that I got all these symbols by traveling to something like 200 miscraft ages. It was quite a bit of work. So I definitely earned the ones I got. It took me hours or days even to do it. It was quite a uh, marathon. So that's how I got all these. I got the biomes all together in one book. Uh, 
there are some like 52 of them that I've got so far. I don't know how many they're supposed to be, but probably way more than I'm actually going to use. So now I'm searching for uh, biome controllers, uh, which are things like um, a single biome, tiny biome, like this. There we go. Large biome, huge biomes, tiled biomes, etc. So I'm going to keep at that. And then I will, like I said, meet you when I've got it all organized. Well, that wasn't so bad. Uh, about an hour later, I've got it all organized. We don't have every symbol that, that's available right now, but we definitely have enough to go, write a good solid age. So we got plenty of biomes, about 52 of them, I believe. These are uh, Twilight Swamp and Twilight something like that. Uh, we can look at them over here. Twilight Lake and Twilight Swamp. And it, it uh, doesn't really understand those for some reason. Where'd they go? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just click to organize. And for some reason, put them up at the beginning. That's all right. Uh, biome controllers, like I was left you with before. Huge, large, medium, single, small, tiny, and tiled. And each of these have a certain amount of biomes that they can accept, which is one of the most important things to get right. Like single, of course, only needs one. Uh, medium, large, huge, uh, small, and uh, I guess medium is the regular one. They all need at least three biomes, and then uh, tiled only takes two, and tiny needs three as well. Um, and then we got terrain, cave world, end, flat, skylands, standard, and void. Uh, Skylands and end are sort of similar in that they're floating islands. I think this is a lot of floating islands and this is one. It doesn't necessarily create the end. It's just like an end-like shape. So you get a big single floating island. You can put end stone, which we actually have as a modifier before it when you write the age, but you still won't get the end. There'll be no obelisks, no dragons, uh, no uh, inordinate amount of endermen and so on. Lighting, and we got bright, dark, and normal. I'll probably only use normal because even though bright lights everything up, it, mobs can still spawn, so you don't really know where they can spawn or not. What some people call celestial bodies, I just wrote simply as sun, moon, stars. Uh, so that's dark moon, dark sun, normal moon, normal sun. We don't have any for stars yet. Lengths, so this these modify sun, moon, and stars and basically determine how long your day is or how long it takes for the moon to go across. Uh, so you can have double length, full length, half length, or zero length. So if you want the sun to stay in the same position in the sky, you put zero length, the same with the moon. And then this also modifies sun, moon, stars. This is positions. Uh, you can start at noon uh, or a setting sun, or you can have the sun start from the south, these are a lot of what I'm missing right here. Is there's a lot of other options here, um, but that's okay. Uh, we can put the sun at noon with zero length, and we'll have uh, infinite day. Sky and fog. Uh, we've got fog color, the rainbow, which I just got, sky color, and sunset color. And those are modified with colors, which I probably don't have all of right now. We've got black, blue, uh, gradient is a combination of colors and then green magenta red and white so a good amount of colors probably not all of them and weather uh, very few of these would ever use like eternal rain eternal snow uh, eternal storm eternal weather oh those would all be lovely worlds good places to be banished to Fast weather, no weather, which is the one I'll probably almost always use because weather just causes lag and who wants to work in a rainy world? I guess it adds some amount of fairness of mobs not despawning or burning up in the daytime. But uh, yeah, and then normal weather, overcast, and slow weather. So features, caves, crystals. Uh, crystals and glowstone crystals probably now should go in another carrier's blocks, but when uh, I got them originally, there were features, and the world would be studded with either uh, the miscraft crystals, which are really important for making portals, or glowstone crystals. I don't know if it still works that way or if I have to modify something with these now. 
uh, but caves, crystals, dungeons, glowstone crystals, huge trees, lakes, lava lakes, mine shafts, obelisks, ravines, starfisher. That'll take you back to your spawn anytime you jump in it. Uh, it's useful if you don't have a linking book. Strongholds, tendrils, and villages. Tendrils are like snaky terrain that goes through the sky, and you can modify it now with uh, certain things like any kind of block type, like crystals, glowstone crystals, ores, woods, etc. When I first got that symbol in the old version, uh, the tendrils would always be wood if not modified. Uh, I don't think you could even modify them at that point. I don't remember. Uh, what else we got? We got blocks. Not too many of. I probably, like I said, should probably put the glowstone and the crystals over here now. But we have diamond ore and endstone. And diamond ore, I believe, causes instability as well. So this might belong down below. I'll show you in a minute. Liquids, we have none. Water, lava, oil, etc. would go here. Uh, I heard that more liquids are being worked into it. I don't know what the new updates look like. And then I put, I call these stabilizers and destabilizers. Uh, basically, destabilizers are things that add instability to the world, like accelerated makes time go faster. I believe your crops would go f go faster and such. Maybe your animals would mature faster. I've never used it. And dense ores, which is what it like sounds like. You get a lot more ores uh, per amount of stone, um, but it also adds instability. Now, stabilizers are bad things that you wouldn't want, but putting them in actually add stability to the world if it's already destabilized. For instance, if you wanted dense ores, and then you added some amount of these, you might be able to balance out the instability, you know, with the consequence of these things. Charged means lightning is striking all the time. Meteors is pretty obvious. Scorched surface means things light on fire all the time. And spontaneous <laughs> explosions is what it sounds like. So, yeah, that's how I'm looking at these. And then down below here, I've got uh, the two books where I imported all our symbols that we had gathered previously so that's all organized so next thing to do is to write an age and we'll do that in just a second okay i'm back uh half a day later had to tend to some real life stuff i just discovered the sound was off i mean, hopefully it wasn't off for the recording it probably doesn't matter too much if it was uh but i i usually keep it off when i go afk at the blaze farm because it's so noisy you know, I just put myself there and go do real life stuff. Like yesterday, I cleaned my desk and while well, I killed blazes. And that's one of the ways I got up to 200 XP. Anyway, it's time to write a an age. Now, the, we'll see if I could make it stable the first time. Every age you write uh, makes your world larger. And uh, it's almost time for a world download again. In fact, it's probably past time. So I want to keep the size as small as possible. I'm going to see if I can accomplish all my goals in one age. The first goal is just to write a successful age so that I can run around and explore and find libraries and maybe get uh, some of the pages we're missing because, uh, you know, trading with the villagers is kind of a hassle. Uh, the other thing is that uh, we need a place to go mining again. Uh, we're running out of coal. Uh, most of the ores and everything are still pretty good. Coal is really the one thing I'm missing um, and a few other minor things, but, uh, yeah, time to start to quarry up again here, even if we may not be in this world much longer. <laughs> Don't tell me it's so. Anyway, um, so let's see what we can do. We're loaded up with paper and ink, and I've got a notebook here. Let's go ahead and do a world and see if it works out. So, uh, we don't have uh, the ink mixer yet, but we do have a book binder, if you guys know what those all mean. Anyway, uh, let's make it work with what we got. So, um, first biomes. I want this to be, uh, first, I want um, extreme hills, because I decided I want to set my quarry up over in extreme hills so that we can get uh, some emeralds just from mining and quarrying. We'll get extra cobble and dirt that way. But at this point, uh, with extra dimensional uh, barrels, we can handle it. So we're going to put that one in. The other thing I want is just uh, planes because it's uh, nice and simple and easy to explore, flat. So we'll do planes. And then also, um, got that, that. 
I want to be able to get ice. So I think I want, there's a couple choices for ice, and I'm not sure what's the best. There is a, uh, we've got, let me see, we got a uh, frozen ocean biome, which might be the one I want, uh, frozen river biome, and glacier biome. I'm going to put uh, Glacier in because I know for sure that's a good one. And then uh, we could throw these in too. Um, <laughs> uh, glacier should cover it. I just need some ice uh, to have around. It's handy. So those are the three things I want out of this world. So for uh, biome controllers, uh, we're going to put normal biomes, or I guess that's medium biomes. So we have this in the right order. The biomes themselves are the modifiers, and then they modify the biome controller. All right, so let's hope we can get this right. Uh, terrain. Uh, so, do to do. Standard terrain, and then flat. There we go. Okay, so I'm tempted to make it flat, just to make it easier. Uh, with extreme hills, that mean might mean it's very high. Uh, standard terrain uh, could work too. It would be a little bit more interesting. Well, this is going to be a very utilitarian world. So let's make it flat. Oops. I'm supposed to right click. And I can just middle click to resort this. Okay. And then for lighting, uh, you know, and one other thing I think I'm going to do, I am going to throw in the uh, frozen ocean biome, uh, mainly because that would be at level 64 and so if we're latin if we're flattening from extreme hills to level 64 hopefully the average height will go down because of that i don't know if that will really work or not but four biomes is fine we'll have everything we need um terrain lighting that one's easy we're going to do normal lighting uh or explain why before sun moon and stars uh i don't mind moons and and sun so we'll put a normal moon and a normal sun lengths now we're gonna have to go in and reorganize these afterwards but uh, we're gonna make zero length this is gonna be always day here we're gonna make it a little easier on ourselves, and we we'll, won't have to deal with with mobs uh, oh wait I want this one okay positions so noon uh, we're gonna put it at noon and then sky and fog uh, fog color, we definitely want a rainbow for sure. So we're going to put all these in. Uh, oh, I got, no, no, okay. We're going to put all these in, and then we're going to have to put colors in for these three. So there's a dog barking in my neighborhood. I'm going to, my neighbor dog, I'm going to go see if I can bribe him. I'll be right back. The tossing the bowl of kibble over the fence trick always seems to work. It's scattered all over. It takes him a while to find it. <laughs> anyway, colors. So I'm not sure what's going to be what. Uh, definitely got to get magenta in there. Uh, let's put in some this gradient. I'm not going to try to mess with gradient. We'll put in a blue and then uh, also uh, a red. And I'll figure out which goes for which in a minute. Uh, weather. Uh, we want no weather. So right there. And then features. Uh, this is where... Things might get weird. We don't want caves because uh, we want the most possible ore generation. I do want crystals. Um, and before, you could just put them in and they be a feature. Hopefully that works now. I'm going to try. If I get uh, instability, I know it's going to be from this. They might need to modify something else like tendrils or obelisks. I'm not sure. Um, we do want dungeons, get the chests, and we do want glowstone crystals because it beats running around the nether and doing that. No, we don't want those. No, no. Um, yeah, we can get more chests and things from mine shafts, although we do lose a little ore generation. That's all right. Uh, obelisks, you know, it might be worthwhile to put obelisks in and then modify them with the crystals um that might be the way to go let's put in two obelisks and we'll try that no ravines uh i don't think we need a starfisher i'll just fall into them 
Strongholds, uh, nah. Tendrils, villages. Actually, yeah, we may get more miscraft stuff that way. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. All right. Uh, probably don't need to mess with blocks. I'm not going to cheat with that. Uh, liquids we don't have. We're not going to destabilize, so we don't need to stabilize. And I think with that, we're done. So as far as putting the pages in, it's okay. We can leave the writing desk. We've got the notebook, and uh, it's got a lot of pages. So I need to go ahead and make sure the modifiers are all in the right places. So wherever I put in uh, the crystals, so we're going to have crystal obelisks, hopefully. And where's the glowstone? Ah, here it is. And glowstone obelisks. So hopefully that works. And then uh, the mine shafts, the dungeons. Okay, so we got no weather. Go ahead and just keep moving stuff out of the way. Okay, that's a set right there. And that's good. Uh, that's good. The moon and the sun, uh, we may need to, they may get a color from this because they're not modified. Uh, hopefully that's okay. The let's see, let's make some space here so that uh, we got our colors here. I'm gonna let's just move these down uh, there, there. Okay, so that's gonna need to be modified. That's gonna be needed modified, and I don't think that needs to be modified. So let's put that over there, and that needs to be modified. So let's do <laughs> this is gonna get interesting. Um, it always seems a little weird when it's not a blue sky, uh, but we're going to go for it. So we've got blue. Let's do, uh, oh my gosh, uh, let's do a blue fog, and we're going to go for a magenta sky, and we're going to go for a red sunset. We'll see what that looks like. And so then our sun here, let's move the moon over here, the sun is going to be at noon and zero length. So hopefully that works. We've got a zero length noon sun. Um, and normal lighting, frozen ocean, right, that needs to get moved over. The flat can go over here. Uh, so frozen oceans. Okay, so we got four biomes for medium biomes, and this needs three or more. Um, it's flat, normal lighting, da da da. You guys know everything, so uh, I'm just gonna look one more time because I'm OCD like that. I'm not not um, modifying the moon. I could actually, um, and that would actually help me uh, make sure that it's gonna be okay. Although, you know what, we can let the moon be random. We might get something interesting. Uh, I might go in a different direction or whatever. I don't have directions to modify. So I think we're good. I don't know if I need to uh, push all these together or not. Uh, let's see if it works just as it is. So what we got to do is go over the book binder that I already made, put over here under the link modifier, and click it. And as far as I know, you put some leather here. Uh, I think one piece would be enough. And then we go ahead and take this and click it there. I think that's how it goes. So we got these seem to all be in the right order. Uh, okay, plains, glacier, frozen, medium, flat. And yeah, so it seems like it kept our order of things. We got their blue fog, our magenta sky. Uh, yep. And our red sunset. Okay, so it seems good. Uh, we got to give it a name. So we're going to call this, uh, well, it's, it's Miscraft again. It's the new age <laughs> of the, uh, after the uh, update. Uh, we'll call it, oh, that's so cheesy. The new age. <laughs> give me a second here. Ah, that's fine. Uh, I don't know if I can change it later, but uh, let's 
call it 223 because I believe the last book I made, the one with all the symbols, was 222. Well, that's what it was. And I think that was the last one I made. And one of the lessons I learned last time is when deleting books, uh, well, you, you know, you can go delete the dimensions in your save file if you want to uh, reduce the size of things. Um, then uh, I was trying to press O here to this. It's important to be able to correlate the book, actual book with the number of the age. So let's see if that works. Um, bam. Oh, it didn't give it the name. That's interesting. Huh. I wonder if I put it in here. Can I name it? Oh, it is named. Interesting. Maybe because I haven't gotten it. Oh, I see. It's on. It's in the subscript. All right. So, uh, with no further ado, let's go check it out. Oh, actually, there is further ado. Actually, I think I'm set because I have it on me. But uh, whenever you go into a Miscraft world, you need a book back. Uh, I have lots of books back, but uh, let's make a new one anyway. And uh, we're still old school. No books in there. I got some books over here in the XP turtle. Oh, actually, I've got some right here, don't I? Yeah, in my Miscraft pouch, of course. Let's make a linking book back just for fun. Uh, and we'll put it right here, say. Yeah, that's fine. Angles are important. Okay. Got that. And put it in here interlinking and following and this goes back to uh, Savannah base okay so we have that on us and that should be an empty notebook now too let's just check it out for fun see if it is yep so we go ahead put that back in the box and let's go see what happened with our age here we go. New age 223. <laughs> Woo! That's pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's taken a while to render. That's normal for these worlds. Woo! Okay. I actually should have done a world backup because sometimes these corrupt your world. Whoa, they just have a library already. Hey, I don't see any instability, so I think we did good. Uh, yeah, we did really well indeed. These must be planes. This is one of our ice biomes. Uh, this didn't, it did not uh, modify the obelisk. We got obelisk two. So that we learned that that works out, that we still get these as just uh, little terrain features dotted around. Uh, we got our little Thomcraft dungeon over there. Let's go check out our first library. This is the very first one. Oh yeah, what we get, what we get. Okay, we already got that. And then a question mark one, lake border. Okay, and then normal weather, we got that too. Now the deal with these is there's always goodies uh, somewhere in here and I don't mind more lecterns and more books. So go ahead and raid the place. But usually some buried somewhere back here is a chest. Uh, which doesn't look like I accidentally broke yet. There it is. What do we got? Oh, new color. Oh, no, we had black already. Black. We had that. We had that. Okay. Well, all stuff we had already. Uh, not bad. Uh, lots more books. Save me killing cows or uncrafted leather armor and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go run around some more and see if I can find more libraries and just kind of check this place out and uh, as I see anything of note I will let you know I didn't bring any torches with me okay see you soon just note that frozen oceans are not all ice so learn a little bit about them. And uh, looking around, definitely the uh, name of New Age for this world uh, definitely seems pretty appropriate. <laughs> Let's go check this out together real quick. 
Now these uh, don't have zombie pigment anymore. I believe they have wisps. Yep. Which, uh, there's no need to save. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take that out. Actually, I should do that with a, uh, with a, whatchamacallit, a uh, soul shard, shouldn't I? These are good. Oh man, my inventory is going to get full already. You know what? Let me leave all this stuff here. Uh, cause, uh, yeah, we'll be back. Okay. <laughs> and we'll leave that whisk, wisp in the dust. Glaciers, however, do have the ice I want. That's the biome of choice for collecting ice. Having problems with the server, I think it's uh, straining with the rendering all this new stuff. Like, I couldn't turn my sword on just then. What? It's acting like it's off now. Alright, fine. I'll use the chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. Having uh, new world generation issues. But anyway, we're, uh, we're in a, a village that I found. So now I'm looking for the miscraft... Uh, villager and his spot okay might as well leave him he's pretty funny well the first village didn't have a miscraft villager that's funny uh, but we do have some nice stuff here I have to come back for all the great wood trees uh, that in due time and uh, silver wood as well <laughs> That's a heck of a tree there. That's awesome. That's a great wood there, but this is an actual oak tree. Super huge one. Fantastic. You know, I always have mixed feelings about these uh, Miscraft worlds. You know, the generation of these and the, um, you know, the uh, obsidian totem things and the great woods and stuff is supposedly about the same as it is in the overworld. Uh, but when you make it, ooh, look at that. When you make it like this, though, it's just so easy to find everything with the flat world and all that. It's kind of like taking candy from a baby. Uh, might as well get these. Um, so I try to make minimum use of it. At least we're not generating uh, diamond ore and such. So here we go. And uh, all these I'm saving for to put on a leather armor and a brown sword or something, just to make them a little bit tougher. So it's not quite uh, such a overall looting of the place. So what do we got? Alpine, that's a repeat. Plains, got that. Dark Moon, give me something new. Okay, that's new. We didn't have birchwood, so now we could make like birchwood tendrils or something like that. Oh, it looks like I busted it. Oh, and I don't have room. Okay. These are what's crucial. So let's get our uh, miscraft pouch out. Uh, let's see, dump that. And let's see, we got normal weather, birch wood. We saw those. Alpine, plains. Okay. So those are all ones we had already. Um, but, you know, we have quite a few already. So it's actually going to be. Uh, pretty difficult actually to uh, find the few that were missing but we got at least one new book per library so not that we really need any more I mean this one age I think is all we need I just wanted basically a place I can tear up because I don't like to tear up my overworld to grab uh, silver woods great woods ice and uh, to do quarries so that's what miscraft ages are good for do things you wouldn't normally do. Like, I probably wouldn't even do that in the overworld of uh, tearing up this place because I'd be like, oh, no, it looks nice. <laughs> anyway, folks, I think I'm going to sign off. Uh, this was successful. Uh, next thing to do here besides getting uh, crystals and glowstone and all that other junk that uh, I was talking about and finding all the chests and things is uh, to set up a quarry. But to do that, I actually want to reconfigure the glacier warehouse because I did it in, a, in an era where I didn't have uh, gates for the pipes and I didn't have, um, whatchamacallit, I didn't have uh, extra dimensional barrels and didn't know all the things I know now. So I think I could do it better. 
and more efficient and so on. So uh, I'll be doing that uh, in an upcoming episode. Uh, see how much of that I show you. Um, and I really appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you enjoy the episode. I'm going to get this one out quick. And I will see you again soon or, you know, figuratively anyway. Now I'm going to run around under the rainbow. <laughs> Woohoo! Bye-bye.